write line angle formulas for the following alkanes. Here in A, we see that it's 2, 2, 4 trimethyl hexane. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to look at the parent name, which is at the end of the name. And here it is hexane. Next, we have to look at my chart to figure out how many carbons are in the parent chain. So hex is here and we have six carbons. So we will go ahead and start drawing six carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we will number it. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can number from either end. I'm choosing to go from the left. And this is our hexane. Next, we have something on carbon two, something else on carbon two, and something else on carbon four. So this is our carbon two. What do we have on it? Tri methyl means three methyl group and meth means one carbon. So on carbon two, we have a methyl group, one carbon, and then there is another carbon on, on, sec on the second carbon coming off of the second carbon. And the third group is on the fourth carbon and it's also a methyl group. So let's just go ahead and go over this name again. We have 2 to 4 trimethyl hexane. Hexane is the parent chain and hex means 6. So the parent chain must have 6 carbons. Every time there is end of the line or two lines are coming together, that's a carbon. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have numbered. Then we have 2, 2, 4 trimethyl, which means we have 3 methyl groups. Methyl means a group that has one carbon only, and they're on carbon number two, carbon number two, and carbon number four. So in my carbon number two, I show one carbon, then I show one carbon again on carbon number two, and one carbon again on carbon, on carbon number four. And that must be my line angle formula for this name. Let's go to B. 2,2-dimethyl propane. Again, we start by looking at the end of the name. The end is propane. What does probe mean? It means three carbons. One, two, three. Next, we go ahead and we number our carbons. One, two, three. So we have, two, two, we have propane. Next, 2,2-dimethyl. Dimethyl means we have two methyl groups. And again, a methyl group is just CH3 group, one carbon coming off, and they're both on the second carbon. So our second carbon has one methyl group and second methyl group. And of course, hydrogens are not shown, but basically these are CH3 groups, two methyl groups. And let's go to C, 3-ethyl-245 trimethyl octane. So again, we start at the end, octane, oct, means eight. So I'm going to draw an eight carbon chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And next, I'm going to number it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I numbered my carbon. Next, let's get to this name, 3-ethyl. What does it mean? It means on carbon number 3, there is an ethyl group. What's an ethyl? Eth means two carbons. So two carbons are coming off of carbon number 3. One, two. This is an ethyl group. So we're done with that. Two, four, five, trimethyl. So I have a methyl group on carbon number 2, just one carbon. Remember, meth is one carbon. A methyl group coming off of carbon 4 and a methyl group coming off of number 5. And that must be my C. Let's go to D. 5 butyl 2 2 dimethyl nonane. Nonane is the parent chain. Known means 9. So we will start by drawing 9 carbons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And next, we are going to number it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is our parent chain. Five butyl. 
On carbon 5, I have a butyl group. What does but mean? It means 4 carbons. 4 carbons are connected to carbon number 5. So how does it look? We go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. That must be my 5 butyl group. There is a butyl group, 4 carbons, coming off of carbon number 5. Next, I have 2,2-dimethyl. Two, two, two methyl groups, and they're both on the second carbon. So 2, 1 methyl group on second carbon, and another methyl group on second carbon. And there I have it, 5-butyl, 2,2-dimethyl, no name. This is Maya Lochi from Transformation Tutoring and I really hope that you enjoyed this video.